Hello grade 10 learners, have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified every time I have new video tutorial about mathematics. Thank you! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about division of polynomials using long division. Let's have a short review first about operation of monomials because it is very important that you have recall about this because your knowledge in operations of monomials is very important in dividing polynomials. For addition of monomials, say if we have negative 5x squared plus negative 3x squared, the sum is negative 8x squared. How did we get negative 8x squared? Just add the numerical coefficient, negative 5 and negative 3, applying the rule of sign numbers, and that is equal to negative 8. Then, copy the literal coefficient, which is x squared. That is why we have here negative 8x squared. For subtraction, 6y cubed minus negative 4y cubed. Apply the rule in subtraction of monomials. We have to copy the minuend 6y cubed. Next, the operation sign will be changed to addition. And the sign of the min, uh, subtrahend negative 4y cubed, it will become positive 4y cubed. And this time, we are going to apply the rule in addition of monomials. So, 6 plus 4, it is equal to 10, and copy the literal coefficient y cubed. That's why our answer is 10y cubed. For multiplication of monomials, negative 5x squared times 6x cubed. Multiply negative 5 times 6, the answer is negative 30. Next, we have to copy the variable x. Add the exponent. So we have here 2 plus 3. So we have 5. That is why we have negative 30x to the power of 5. For the division of monomials, 30x to the power of 4 divided by 5x. So divide 30 divided by 5. The answer is 6. Copy the variable x. Next, subtract the exponent. So 4. Here, the exponent is 1. So 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3. That is why we have 6x cubed. In general, when a polynomial p of x is divided by another polynomial d of x, and d of x is not equal to 0, we express the result in the following form. p of x divided by d of x is equal to q of x plus r of x over d of x, where our p of x here is the dividend, d of x is the divisor, q of x is the quotient, r of x is the remainder. Now let us consider the first example. Find the quotient between 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 3x minus 4 and quantity of x plus 4. Okay, first we have to check if the dividend and the divisor are already arranged in descending orders. Okay, we have to check the degree of each term. So the degree of 2x cubed is equal to 3. That is from the exponent. And the degree of 9x squared is equal to 2. The degree of 3x is 1. You have here 1 in the exponent part. And the degree of constant is equal to 0. So if you have observed, the terms are already arranged in descending orders. And there is no missing term because we have here 3, 2, 1, 0. The divisor is already in standard form. Now we are going to write the dividend inside the long division symbol. 
and a divisor outside the long division symbol. Now let's begin. Consider only the first term in the dividend as well as first term in a divisor. So 2x cubed divided by x that is equal to 2x squared. Now let's multiply. 2x squared times x is equal to 2x cubed. 2x squared times positive 4 that is equal to positive, positive 8x squared. Then we have to subtract. Remember in subtraction of polynomials, we have to change the sign of every term in the subtrahend. So positive 2x cubed will become negative 2x cubed and positive 8x squared will become negative 8x cubed, 8x squared, and proceed to addition. So, 2x cubed plus negative 2x cubed, that is equal to 0, and 9x squared plus negative 8x squared is equal to x squared. Bring down 3x. x squared divided by x, that is equal to x, x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, now we have to subtract, again we have to change the sign of every term in the subtrahend, so this will become negative x squared, this will become negative 4x, and proceed to addition, so x squared plus Negative x squared, that's already 0. 3x plus negative 4x, that is equal to negative x. Bring down negative 4. So negative x divided by x, that is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 times x, that is equal to negative x. Negative 1 times 4, that is equal to negative 4. Now we have to subtract. We have to change again the sign of every term in the subtrahend. So this one, this will become positive x, and negative 4 will become positive 4, and proceed to addition. So negative x plus positive x, that's already 0, and negative 4 plus positive 4, that is equal to 0. So this time our remainder is 0 and our quotient is 2x squared plus x minus 1. Therefore, 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 3x minus 4 divided by x plus 4 is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. Now let's have example number 2. Find the quotient between 11, quantity of 11x minus 20x squared plus 12x cubed minus 14 and quantity of x minus 2. Now we will check first the given dividend if it's already in standard form and at the same time if there are no missing terms. So let's try to check. Okay, see? The first term has a degree of 1, second term has a degree of 2, while the third term has a degree of 3. And the last term has a degree of 0. So it means that the terms are not yet arranged in descending order. So what are we going to do is we have to rearrange. So starting with the term with the highest degree, so 12x cubed will be the first term. Because 12x cubed has a degree of 3 followed by negative 20x squared followed by positive 11x, and last is negative 14. So x minus 2, same, ready in standard form. Now we're going to write the dividend inside the long division symbol. So we have 12x cubed minus 20x squared plus 11x minus 14 divided by x minus 2. So same thing, first term in the dividend divided by the first term in the divisor. So 12x cubed divided by x, that is equal to 12x squared. Multiply 12x squared times x, we have 12x cubed. 
12 x square times negative 2. The answer is negative 24 x square. Subtract. So in subtraction, we have to change the sign. This positive 12 x cube will become negative 12 x cube. And negative 24 will become positive 24 x square. So we have to add 12 x cube plus negative 12 x cube that is already 0 negative 20 x squared plus positive 24 x squared that is equal to 4 x squared next bring down 11 x divide again 4 x squared by x and the answer is positive 4 x multiply 4 x times x that is equal to 4 x squared 4 x times negative 2 negative 8x so we have to subtract so change again the sign this positive will become negative and this negative will become positive 4x square plus negative 4x square that is 0 11x plus positive 8x we have 19x bring down negative 14 so 19x divided by x that is equal to 19 19 times x is 19x 19 times negative 2 we have negative 38 subtract so we have to change the sign so this will become negative and this negative 38 will become positive and proceed to addition so 19x plus negative 19x that's already 0 negative 14 plus positive 38 that is equal to positive 24 so 24 is our remainder and 12x squared plus 4x plus 19 is the quotient so to write it we have Therefore, 12x cubed minus 20x squared plus 11x minus 14 divided by x minus 2, this is the given, is equal to 12x squared. This is the quotient part. 12x squared plus 4x plus 19 plus the remainder, which is 24, over the divisor, which is x minus 2. Third example, find the quotient between 8x cubed plus 27 and 2x plus 3. Okay, let's check. Okay, the given dividend is in standard form, but there are missing terms. The degree for 8x cubed is 3, and here we have 0. So, Missing are degrees for second degree as well as the first degree. So what are we going to do if there are missing terms? So we have to insert zero. That's why we have 8x cubed. Then for the second degree term, we have 0x squared. And for the first degree term, we have 0x. Then lastly... We have to write 27 divided by 2x plus 3. So same, 8x cubed divided by 2x, that is equal to 4x squared. 4x squared times 2x, that is equal to 8x cubed. 4x squared times 3, that is equal to 12x squared. Now we have to subtract, so change the sign. This one will become negative and 12x squared will become negative then add so 8x cubed plus negative 8x cubed that's already 0 0x squared plus negative 12x squared that is equal to negative 12x squared bring down 0x so negative 12x squared divided by 2x that is negative 6x negative 6x times 2x that is equal to negative 12x squared Negative 6x times 3, 
that is equal to negative 18x. Next, we have to subtract. So, change the sign. Negative 12x squared, this will become positive. And this one will become positive 18x. And proceed to addition. So, tw negative 12x squared plus positive 12x squared, that's already 0. And 0x plus positive 18x, that is equal to 18x. Bring down 27. So, 18x divided by 2x, that is equal to 9. 9 times 2x is 18x. 9 times 3, that is equal to 27. Now, we have to subtract. Change the sign again of the subtrahend. So, we have negative 18x. And this one, this will become negative 27. And proceed to addition. So, 18x plus negative 18x, that's already 0. And 27 plus negative 27 is 0. So, our remainder here is 0. And our quotient is 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. Therefore, 8x cubed plus 27 divided by 2x plus 3 is equal to 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like or comment if you have questions regarding the video. Kindly share it with other students for them to learn or master the lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. God is a refuse and strength, a very present help in trouble. Psalms 46 verse 1. That's all for today and God bless you all.